Hi, members of the Springfield School District community. I just want to walk you really quickly through, uh, very briefly, what we've been up to in terms of planning and um, and what's left in terms of our stages of planning before we make some announcements about the upcoming uh, the upcoming year. First, I just want to let you know that since May, we've had groups of people who have been using this document from the Council of Chiefs, Chief State School Officers, which is an organization um, made up of people like secretaries of education and state superintendents in some states uh, working through a, uh, they created a, a planning framework for ways for states really was the target audience uh, to begin to think about the possibility of reopening and what that would look like. So in May, we had a bunch of people who were doing, um, doing work around uh, the, some of the big themes that were part of this particular document. And then, uh, then we got into the end of the year stuff. We kind of focused on closing up, closing up school. And as we moved into June, we started a four stage process for planning. Uh, and these dates have adjusted a little bit over time, but basically what we just completed recently was a breakdown of these particular areas, transportation, food service, health, human resources, et cetera, areas that then could have an impact on the rest of our planning where if we can't do certain things in transportation, then we're not gonna be able to be creative in terms of what we would reimagine for our kids in the second stage. Um, health considerations, if we can't meet health guidance, then that really shuts down some of the different options that we would be talking about in the second stage. So we've just gone through uh, the initial drafting of that work with a variety of different teams. <clears throat> we are working in teams uh, through this. Um, we have, uh, I think to this point, and this first wave, we probably had close to 40 people involved in this process. And as we move into the second wave, we're using the, those big themes that are part of the Council of uh, Chief State School Officers document, continuity of learning, uh, conditions of learning, leadership and planning, and policy and funding as the areas where we have other teams working on um, what that would look like, what they propose it would look like for the upcoming year. And that, again, involves over 40 people. Um, close to 50 people involved in breaking down these uh, things and uh, putting us in a position to try to have a comprehensive plan in all these areas that blends together. As we move into stage three, our hope is that we're going to be do some stakeholder vetting at that point. Uh, we're going to push this out to our staff, our full staff. We have staff members who are involved in the planning process at the moment. Uh, move it out to some parent and student focus groups, our, our teachers association and our support staff association. A bunch of the regional partners that we're involved uh, with, uh, including, um, you know, Parks and Rec, DCF. We're going to go to the school board and have the school board. We have school board members who are part of the process right now, but we're going to go to the school board and have the school board do some additional vetting. And then it's got all this information is going to go back to these teams. And we're going to do one more, um, one more update and redraft before then I and the first Monday in August would then uh, start to roll out to to all the stakeholders throughout the district, some of those big decisions. Our hope is that we've got most of the big decisions made, things like what is the schedule of our school gonna look like, what, to, you know, what type of transportation, if we offer transportation is going to be available. Um, all those types of things, some of the, those big decisions are taken care of. And then a lot of the small decisions at that point. However, we know as we go into August, we'll also be doing a lot of the detail work to finalize uh, things. But we wanna be able to, to communicate to our parents uh, and to our staffs. Uh, these are the big decisions and we wanna do that no later than the very beginning part of August. So that is uh, what's happening. There's a couple of op opportunities for uh, both staff and um, families to be involved in giving us some feedback. We already had families who gave us some feedback on the distance learning, um, what that was like for, their, for them and their child. Uh, in that survey we put out in June, and we're really appreciative of the little close to 170 or so families that uh, participated in that. It was very helpful. We're going to be putting out a new survey to um, to parents about the return to school and some things that um, that you might be thinking about. And we try to make that a very short survey so we get the most powerful information. We're putting out another survey to staff, and then we're going to be doing a, a series of virtual town hall meetings um, over the next couple of weeks. So. That is the process. Uh, we look forward to engaging all of you in it uh, and coming to the best possible conclusion for all of us. Thank you.